Welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers, along with Bob Sellers. Uh, former President Barack Obama bowing to the pressure and scaling down his 60th birthday party. Not canceling it, just scaling it down. Uh, this comes after Mr. Obama received tons of backlash and criticism for trying to host hundreds, at least 400 people, at his $12 million waterfront mansion on Martha's Vineyard. Okay, now the former president only keeping the event to close family and friends. His spokesperson saying this outdoor event was planned months ago in accordance with all public health guidelines and with COVID safeguards in place. Due to the new spread of the Delta variant over the past week, the president and Mrs. Obama have decided to significantly scale back the event to include only family and close friends. So, uh, Heather, um, mm -hmm. it, it, it looks like they're, they're, they're bowing to that pressure, but we saw yeah. uh, D.C.'s mayor uh, officiate a wedding and be involved in something, even after she said, you got to wear a mask again. And right. we've seen this all over the country. Yeah, it does uh, speak to, it seems like this, uh, Derek, the hypocrisy of the Democrats. We've seen, you know, repeatedly uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi without a mask, but then in front of the cameras wearing a mask. We saw a similar image that was floating around today of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, with a mask in front of cameras and then uh, without once the cameras go away. I know. That's what I was saying when I had my mask on a few minutes ago. It's like very, very confusing right now. Do you, it's mask on, mask off. Future had the best song in 2017. Mask on, mask off. What I want to know, my son Derek Jr., he's actually at Martha's Vineyard this week, and I wonder if he got an invitation to the Obama's uh, little party to get together. Uh -huh. But you're right. It's hypocrisy. <laughs> it's yeah. hypocrisy, man, and it's fullest, and they need to, okay, the, the, what's good for the geese, it should be good for them, okay? Don't tell us to do one thing if you don't, if you can't adhere to the same kind of policies and restrictions that you put in place for everyone else. Yeah. The, the other really outrageous thing about this, Jesse Jane, is um, Valerie Jarrett, when, in talking about President, or the former President's birthday coming up on August 3rd, she tweeted out, my dear friend at Barack Obama is turning 60 tomorrow for his birthday gift. I'm asking you to chip in $6 or $60 to go towards the Obama presidential library. So during a pandemic, uh, during an eviction wow. crisis, all of this, talk about being brain dead, that kind of adds on top of it. It's a $12 million mansion. Mm -hmm. Let's just turn that into the presidential <laughs> library. Well, he probably could have I'm the library there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely stunned at how tone deaf these Democrats are when these limousine liberals are trying to control the lives of other Americans. One of the things that is going on right now that we just previously discussed is that Americans are going to have to decide between holding a job or getting the vaccine. And meanwhile, they're celebrating in a $12 million mansion. We now will walk around with a scarlet letter, whether we have been vaccinated or not in some states. And they are aggressively doing this, knowing that it can be challenged by the Supreme Court, but yet they're doing it anyway. So in the meantime, Americans have to make that difficult decision. The pretentiousness of this, the arrogance of this, while people are coming out of COVID who have lost their jobs, you've had 37% of American small businesses um, just basically go away that cannot recover from this. I just feel that they have no idea what they are doing. President Trump got elected because he spoke for the forgotten man and woman. This party, the Democrats, appeared to have forgotten most of us a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, John, just some final thoughts before we run out of time. But, yeah. you know, I'm all for him having a big party. Yeah. I think everybody should be able to have a big party, though, not just, you know, one thing for a certain group of people and then another for other folks. Well, the hypocrisy rolls on. Yeah. Uh, so we're forced to to have mandates on masks and on uh, vaccinations. Meanwhile, the whole southern border is wide open to people with the infection, bringing it into the yes. United States. And, and, and meanwhile, they party and forget about it. But the rest of us, we peons, we have to uh, recognize the mandates. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, as we uh, end the, this uh, segment, uh, thank you, Jesse Jane. I hadn't heard the term uh, limousine liberal since I think the Reagan administration. So uh, maybe I haven't been plugged in, but it, it was fun to hear it again. So uh, before